Why aircraft don't hit supersonic speeds? The sound barrier isn't the wall. You think, think of a plane pushing through air, like a boat pushing through water. As it approaches the speed of sound, it starts to catch up to its own pressure waves. This creates a dense, compressed wall of air, a shock wave, that we hear as a sonic boom. This isn't an impenetrable barrier, but breaking through it requires a staggering amount of thrust and a specialized design to manage the extreme forces. Most commercial jets are simply not built for this. Their engines, wings, and bodies are optimized for fuel efficiency and stability at subsonic speeds, where the air flows smoothly. Pushing them into the supersonic realm would require monstrous power, gulping fuel, and shaking the airframe with stresses it was never meant to handle. The cost of going faster than a bullet. Even if an airliner could go supersonic, the real world reasons it doesn't come down to money and regulations. The fuel consumption at those speeds is astronomical, making tickets impossibly expensive. Remember the Concorde? Furthermore, that iconic sonic boom isn't just cool, it's a regulatory nightmare. It's so disruptive that flying supersonic over land is prohibited in most countries, limiting routes to over ocean. For airlines, the business model is about moving hundreds of people cheaply and comfortably, not a handful of people at fighter jet speeds. The economics simply don't add up for your everyday flight from New York to Chicago. The deliberate design for efficiency. So next time you're on a flight, remember, cruising below the speed of sound is a feature, not a bug. Engineers have perfected the sweet spot, around 80% the speed of sound, where lift, drag, and fuel burn are in perfect harmony. This gives us the remarkable efficiency that makes global travel accessible. The skies are filled with aircraft precisely designed to be masters of their domain, sacrificing raw speed for safety, affordability, and range. Supersonic flight is reserved for specialized military and experimental craft because for mass travel, going slower is actually the smarter, faster way to get everyone where they need to go. In short, commercial aircraft don't hit supersonic speeds because they are meticulously engineered for a different purpose efficient and affordable travel. The physics of breaking the sound barrier demand brutal power and specialized designs, while the economics of fuel cost and sonic boom regulations make it impractical for everyday flights. By mastering subsonic flight, engineers have given us the true miracle of modern aviation, connecting the world. What's your take on the future of supersonic travel? Would you pay more to cut your flight time in half? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this dive into aviation science, be sure to give us a like, share this with a curious friend, and subscribe for more content that explores the how and why of our world. Thanks for watching.